Hello everyone, Mav Hunter here from the YouTube channel Mav's Outdoor Adventures. If you've ever been thinking about hunting the western Arizona desert in December and January for the desert mule deer, this video will give you an aerial view by drone of the different terrain that the mule deer inhabit. The flat top mesas, the valleys or the desert washes, along with the small canyons and arroyos. Towards the end of the video, there's actually some animals that got recorded during the drone flyover. So hopefully this might give you an indication of what you might expect terrain-wise. This is a drone aerial view of the western Arizona desert. This video footage will show the terrain, the flat top arroyos or the high areas, a few low mountains, the desert washes, and the arroyos and the small canyons that predominate this desert landscape of Arizona. Flying along this desert wash you can see a, a lot of scrub and brush and surprisingly some of these small trees are 30 feet tall. You can also see various game trails that meander through the desert wash as well as during the monsoon rain season of July through September, you can see how the water, the rainwater, rushes through these areas and the tra track of the water path that it leaves. Here we're looking toward the mountains to the east. And here's a typical flat top area. The top of these mesas are pretty flat and you really you only see game animals on this flat area when they're moving from one little canyon to another. A lot of these arroyo canyons start out as only five to six feet deep on top and then as they go down into the desert wash they will get as deep as 70 to well over 200 feet down. This video footage was shot in the late afternoon, thus the shadows. But the shadows are key here, whether it's morning shadows or afternoon shadows, because the game will bed down or get up to feed or move to other cover utilizing the shadows. We're going to move the drone down this ridge line, down into the desert wash, and then we're going to rise up over the top. Here's an area where I start looking for actual game animals. That's along the shady side of these cliffs. Again, some of these trees are 30 feet tall. We're coming up here. Here they are in the distance. An animal that predominates the western desert. That's these wild burrows. They're actually not wild. They're donkeys that have gone feral, left over from the minor days. One thing about these wild donkeys um, and the mule deer, they really don't hang out together. They keep very separate from each other. I noticed something here that the burrows are looking to the right. They're not so much looking at the drone, but they're cautiously moving along and they keep looking to the right. And then I noticed a few does and there's a buck coming up here on the right hand screen standing in the shadows. And here you can see the donkeys stop and look to their right. And there's the buck standing in the shadows there.
the donkeys are moving off there are a number of ATVs up on the flat top mesa about 500 yards away and so the burrows are moving away from those they're to my right here the ATVs Well, my drone battery is getting low. I've only got about 15% power after 20 minutes of flight, so I'm heading back to my home point and land the drone. Usually flying the drone, when I get 20% of my battery left, is, is a great time to return to the, what the home point or the takeoff area is. Because if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button as a like. If you'd like to subscribe, hit the red subscribe button for future videos.